Oh, I'm so excited. Oh. Here. Oh. <laughs> I almost broke the down box. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are all doing very well. If you're new to my channel, my name is Liz. Make sure you do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified anytime I upload a video. So I've been wanting to do this video for the past two years and you know what, I never got around to doing it. So as you can tell by the title, today's video is a British person trying American candy slash snacks. I can just imagine the look on some people's faces right now. She's black. She's, black. She's, not, She's British. not British. I'm British by birth. So I was born here in the UK, specifically in South London. However, I guess the UK is not considered my motherland. Heritage wise, I'm mostly Ghanaian. So I just say I'm Ghanaian. But yeah, I'm British Ghanaian. Anyways, I decided to go on Google and pick out a few American snacks that I've never tried before or candy that I've never tried before and literally try them on camera. I actually enjoy watching these videos for whatever reason. So hopefully you guys enjoy watching this video. So a fun fact about me or my channel is a majority of my viewers are actually from the US. I must say I do have a lot of love for the US. So big shout out to all of you guys in the US. I'd love to know what state you're from and also what is your favourite US or American snack. I would definitely love to know. Anyway, I'm excited to literally dive into this and give my mini review on them. Yeah, let's go. So the first thing which I'm going to try are the cinnamon bun bites. Okay, so this is what they look like. Hopefully you guys can see it and it's not so blinding i really really love cinnamon so i have high expectations for this and i love cinnamon buns as well oh <laughs> oh okay oh oh my gosh these are so good i am going to be addicted to these this gets a 10 out of 10 i can't believe how good that was so the next thing which I'm going to try is Reese's. <laughs> I've never actually tried Reese's before and I know that sounds so weird. I imagine what they will taste like but I've never actually tried one before. I was here about it. I know it's got peanut butter in it. I do like peanut butter but I don't like things when they're overly peanut buttery. Does that make any sense? That probably sounds so stupid but when there's something that has an extreme peanut butter flavour I don't really like it but I do like peanuts. Oh that smells very strong. Let's try this. Don't like it. It's too peanuts buttery for me. And it's got a salty aftertaste, like salty caramel, which I don't like. This gives a four out of 10 for me. I'm not really a fan of it. It's just too peanuts buttery. Uh, the next thing is called Twizzlers. You have your standard sweets that look like this here in the UK. I can imagine what this would taste like. They're all stuck together. Are they supposed to look like this? Oh. Let's... This ain't sweet enough. Blech. No. This is not like the ones here. This tastes like they forgot to add sugar in it. And it's artificially flavoured. I think you forgot to add the sugar. It says it's a low fat snack. This gets a 2 out of 10. I don't like this. The next thing which I'm going to try are Pop-Tarts. I always hear people talking about Pop-Tarts and they actually sell them here in Tesco. You can find different flavours. I picked up the, the Frosted Strawberry Pop-Tarts. I have never tried Pop-Tarts before. So today I'm going to be popping my Pop-Tart tin and lid tea in front of you guys. Oh, these are huge. Okay. Oh, it smells good. Let's try it. This is good. I did not think this would taste the way it tastes. Oh my. <laughs> All the time I've been walking past these in Tesco's, I didn't realise how good they taste. Now this, with a cup of tea, will be heaven. This is a 10 out of 10. Wow. 
I've been sleeping on this. If anyone wants to send me pop tarts, feel free to. I've got a PO box. Thank you. The next thing that I'm going to try is called cow tails. Again, something I've never tried before. So this is going to be interesting. It's artificially flavored caramel apple. Well, at least they let you know it's artificially flavored. This looks weird. I don't like the way that smells. Wait, what? That's a confusing... No! That gets a 1 out of 10. That's disgusting. Cow tails. I should have known by the name. That makes me just want to go vegan. Ugh. So, the next thing which I'm going to try is called a Laffy Taffy. Girl, shake that Laffy Taffy. That Laffy Taffy. That Laffy Taffy. That gummy bubble gum. So, you so thick. Does anyone remember that song? That was like way back. I'm getting old. But yeah, I believe this is in the flavour grape. I've never tried them before. I have a habit of smelling things for whatever reason, but let's try it. I like it. Mmm. Boy, I want that laughing taffy. That laughing taffy. That laughing taffy. But I really do love chewy sweets. So that, a 10 out of 10. The next thing is called a Tootsie Roll. I believe there's a Tootsie Roll song, right? It's, it's come to me. No, it's not. I can't remember it. And I've seen this before when I went to Miami and when I went to New York and I just never tried it. Oh, I didn't expect it to look like this. This smells like something I've smelt before. Let's try it. Ooh. It's okay, but it's not something I would buy again. It has this chocolatey flavour, but it's a chewy sweet. However, if it's something at home, I will definitely eat it. I think this gets a 7 out of 10 for me. So the next thing is called combos. And combos are a baked snack pepperoni pizza made with real cheese. I love pizza, I love cheese. However, I don't like pepperoni. Hopefully, this will be good. Oh. That smells strong. It smells like tomato puree. It's weird. The salt. I hate that salty aftertaste. Too much salt. It's kind of nice and disgusting at the same time. I'm going to give this a 5. A 5 out of 10. The next thing is called the Charleston Chew. And it's in the flavour vanilla. Again, it's artificially flavoured. All things artificial. So I presume this is going to be a very chewy sweet. And I prefer chewy sweets. Oh, What? It's chocolate. Okay, <laughs> when life comes at you fast, I was not expecting chocolate. I thought this was going to be chewy sweet. But it tastes like um, cheap 20p chocolates. I don't like the aftertaste, but it's alright. I think I'll give it a 4. So the next thing I'm going to try is something I've never tried before. And it's called a Twinkie or Twinkies. Um, yeah, the box of them has sold out, so I got an individual. No, I don't have high hopes because it just seems weird to me that it's like some creamy thing and cake. But you guys have proven me wrong <laughs> with some of these snacks. So it may be good. Oh. Okay. That is extremely sweet. I don't like the creaminess in the middle, but I like the cake on the outside. That is sweet. I feel like I'm going to get diabetes if I finish eating this. And that's rich coming from me because I like sweet stuff. Considering that the cake is actually nice, I think I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. But that creamy stuff in the middle, no. Right, the next thing I'm going to try is called Butter Finger. And it's by Nestle. It says, crispity, crunchy, 
peanut buttery. Oh, not peanut. Damn. No artificial flavors or colors this time. Oh, that's a first. Let's try this then. You guys love your peanut butter, don't you? It's not too bad. Oh. <coughs> a bit too much peanut butter. But I prefer this more than the Reese's. But it has a, a nice-ish taste. I think this is going to get a 6 for me. A 6 out of 10. So, the next chocolate which I'm going to try are Hershey's. I, I've tried the cookies and cream one before. Which was alright. It wasn't all that. I prefer Cadbury's. But I'm going to try this one which is a chocolate cookies and cream. And it's milk chocolate with cookie bites. All these bubbly stuff look like I'm so clumsy. The bubbly stuff on this does not look attractive. Anyone with trypophobia may be triggered by this chocolate. I like this. Mmm. This is good. This one's definitely up my street. I like this. This gets a 10 out of 10 for me. The next thing are called grape heads. It should look like this. Are these hard? <laughs> this is hard. Whoa. These are weird. They're sweet. I can feel these getting stuck in my teeth. But it's exciting. I'm giving this an 8 out of 10. So the next one is called Airheads and it's in a watermelon flavour. I love watermelon. Oh, this, it looks like everything wrong with sweets. So many E numbers. Oh well, let's try it. Ooh. You like adding random fizz to your sweets that you don't expect to be fizzy. It's gets an 8 out of 10. It's good, but you, you, there was no need for that random fizz. So the next thing which I'm going to try is called Brain Blasters Mega Sour Dark Fruit Candy. Your sours have proven to be extremely sour, so I'm quite scared. How do I open this up? Damn. Look at all my muscle. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. There's lots of these. There's raspberry, strawberry, and black currant. Well, I'm only going to try one, and this is the raspberry because I'm not a fan of these sour flavors. Okay, I'm going to try it now. Uh, absolutely disgusting. This gets a zero out of ten. This is disgusting. And I thought because it had dark flavors, it was going to be nice. Hell no. So, the last thing which I'm going to try is called pop rocks which is in the flavor cotton candy we have this in the uk when i was a young or in primary school we used to have this all the time i've never tried the cotton candy flavor before so it's gonna be fun trying that and if you don't know what these are this is based popping candy so when you taste it it just pops some people may find this quite scary if you've never had this before but these are good oh It's good. Not as sweet as I thought it would be though. I had to go and actually research the science on this. There's a milk in this. How sway. I'm really shocked by that. Maybe that's why not that sweet. Um, I've had better flavours, so I'm gonna give this a 7 out of 10. I expected more. I thought this was gonna be a 10 out of 10, but it's not. It's all these snacks or candy that I tried that is from America that I've never ever tried before. My favourite, hands down, would have to be, this is number one. What I imagine this to taste like is definitely what it tastes like. This is good. I want to try every single flavour, even though others were 10 out of 10. For me, this this still was the show. But yeah, overall, I think you guys have really good snacks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. A new video will be up on Thursday. It will be a haul video. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And do make sure you watch my previous video. Anyway, speak to you guys later. Bye.